Hello and welcome to GK Today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi once said that the central bank digital currency, in short CBDC, launched by RBI will be as good as India's fiat currency that is Indian national rupee and will be exchangeable to the cash. It is sovereign currency in an electronic form. RBI has repeatedly voiced its opposition to the private digital currencies had proposed to the government in October 2021 to widen the scope of the paper rupee to include currency in digital form. On August 22, RBI said that digital rupee, which is the central bank digital currency, may be introduced in phases beginning with wholesale business in the current financial year. In her business budget speech on February 1st, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman had said that the central bank would launch the central bank digital currency in the financial year 2022-23. So let's see what is central bank digital currency. According to the RBI, central bank digital currency is the legal tender issued by a bank in a digital form. Legal tender is that currency which is supported or backed by the government. It is the same as a fiat currency and can be exchanged with the fiat currency. Here, what we should understand is only its form is different. The digital fiat currency, that is the central bank digital currency, can be transacted using wallets backed by blockchain. Though the concept of central bank digital currencies was directly inspired by Bitcoin, it is different from decentralized virtual currencies and crypto assets like Bitcoins, which are not issued by the government and are not legal tender. The user can perform both domestic and cross-border transactions through central bank digital currencies which do not require any bank. How will central bank digital currency help? Introduction to central bank digital currency has the potential to provide significant benefits such as reduced dependency on cash, higher signal rate due to lower transaction cost, reduced settlement risk, more robust, efficient, trusted, regulated and legal tender based payment options. There are also associated risks which need to be carefully evaluated against the potential benefits. The central bank digital currency will be launched after amendments to the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934. The government is also planning to introduce a bill in the parliament that would prohibit all private cryptocurrencies in India with some exceptions. RBI has always highlighted the concerns that private cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ether, etc. may be utilized for money laundering, terror funding, tax evasion, etc. So, introducing its own digital currency has been seen as a way to bridge the advantages and risks of the digital currency. One chief difference could be that a digital rupee transaction would be instantaneous as opposed to the current digital payment experience. That's all in today's session. See you soon.